you're not thinking alien. That's what aliens are. Alien. They do alien things. Things that are alien. So Uri Geller spoke to Prince Philip. Right. Um, what about? Well, about UFOs. Okay. And E.T. Presumably not the film. E.T. is in E.T.'s. Right. Extra terrestrials. Aliens. No, it's uh, aliens, extraterrestrials, and UFOs. Well, that's cleared that up then. But a lot of things are said to be alien, or could be alien, or could be something relating to that. There are many reports within the Ministry of Defence and various, uh, you know, branches thereof. So, yeah, uh, you could imagine how that would be an interest for Prince Philip. And Uri Geller is basically a person at the fringe of society who, in this article, is called a TV psychic, even though he's claimed a number of times it's just tricks, and other times he says, no, it's actual real mind power, what he does. Oh, bending spoons, definitely mind power, isn't it? Mmm, believe that. Uh, it's not like you can replicate the same uh, results with fairly, you know, well, sensible, well-explained tricks. It's not like you can do that, is it? It's sarcasm! I am being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. President. He was astounded of his knowledge, of Prince Philip's knowledge. He probably knows a lot about all these things, to be honest. You know, Prince Philip probably knows a lot of things. I don't think uh, he's one who's going to be ignorant of a huge number of issues, but he's certainly probably got a number of interests. Oh, I say we are grand, aren't we? Uri, known for his spoon bending, said they chatted at a charity event at St. James's Palace in the late 90s. So how is this news? It's not. If you want to know what I think, a lot of stories recently with Uri have been, well, to be entirely fair, stories he's said about the past or things he said he's tried to do in the present, like when he said he, he said he was going to reverse Brexit, didn't he? He said he was going to influence Theresa May when she was Prime Minister and going to make it so she would block Brexit. How's that working out for you? <laughs> So Uri Geller spoke to Prince Philip. I dare say there's some exaggeration, uh, considering at least a 20-year gap. Of course, the uh, article does mention Uri Geller's um, contact claim. Uh, he claims that when he was a child, he was hit with a beam of light. Interestingly, this story didn't seem to appear in his early career. So it's hard to say whether or not he decided to bring this story forward later on, or whether it's a well, fabrication. But you're not thinking alien! Many people leaving their comments have basically said that he's a liar, he's a con man, he's a scam. And, to be honest, I don't disagree. Uri Geller was claiming genuine psychic ability back in the 70s. He was exposed in the US, and then he started working Europe. Like working Britain and France and several other nations. Because, in America, he was exposed. And then he's gone, you know, on to do other things. He said he's a magician. He hired a new uh, magician a while ago, did this kind of a apprentice show about a decade ago. And he's done a variety of things over the years. Sometimes claiming this is a trick, you know, and you won't know how it's done. Sometimes around magicians claiming, no, that I, you know, that he's a magician. And in other cases, claiming it's genuine telepathy. And unfortunately, trying to get a straight answer from this man is easier said than done. At a restaurant table, Geller bent a spoon a little, and then the other diners started to take an interest. I, I didn't come to do a show here, but uh, How did you do that? With my, I'm doing it with my mind. It clearly seems to me as though he bent the spoon as he was standing up. Yes, of course. Yes. And then he walked over to one of the other diners and handed the spoon to her. And it's clear that the spoon is bent a lot more when it leaves his hand than when it went into his hand. And I wonder why he needed, with this light object like a spoon, to put it over and hold it in both hands, and why this suspicious move was made. Well, it's... It's not much of a philosophy, I know. But, well... Fuck you. I can live my own life in my own way if I want to. Fuck off. I've been swimming in raw sewage. I love it. 